Sup all, JC3 here, the Baller of YouTube, the General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Michael Jordan's famous shrug game and the story behind it that produced one of the most iconic moments in NBA Finals history. We are gearing up for another NBA season, which means a lot of basketball content will be produced for y'all here on the channel. And if you like these videos on NBA Legends, don't trip, they are going away even during the 2017-2018 regular season. Remember to leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy and want to see more, and please comment down below. Let's get some real discussion going on down there, and with that being said, let's get started on today's topic. Although the NBA takes a break for the summer, NBA TV does not, and when I found myself glued to the TV watching a rerun of Game 1 of the 1992 NBA Finals between Clyde Drexler's Blazers and Michael Jordan's Bulls, I knew I had to make a video on it. Doesn't hurt that the backstory makes his performance by Jordan even more amazing. So here we are at the 1992 NBA Finals. The Bulls are attempting to go back to back, and Jordan is the MVP for the third time in his career. Finishing right behind him in the voting is Portland shooting guard Clyde Drexler, who starred in bringing the Blazers back to the Finals since their defeat two years prior in 1992. So due to both players putting up MVP numbers and leading their respective teams to number one in their respective conferences, this was the rivalry that the media made. Both players in their primes, drafted one year apart, with both teams passing on each player in the 1983 and 84 drafts, seems like a great storyline for a finals matchup, except for one part. When some reporters dared to suggest that Drexler had caught up to Jordan in the best player alive debate. Ooh, that's a big no-no. I played basketball and perhaps a lot of you did too, but if you didn't, I will describe it as best as possible. It's a feeling you get as a player when everything is going in. Whatever you put up, from anywhere, with anyone on you, it's going in. We call it being in the zone. Stats or past games or outside noise has no effect on you. You're simply just scoring at will over and over. Well, that's not how the game started for Jordan, as Drexler had a poster dunk over him and the score was 15 to 7 Portland. After that, Jordan had had enough. It was incredible to watch MJ's first half performance of 35 points in which he dominated Drexler on defense and schooled him on offense. Back down to the fadeaway. Pulling up on the fast break, he just kept scoring in every way possible. Jordan for the 1991-92 season was a 27% three-point shooter and 31% during the playoffs but on June 3rd, 1992, Jordan drained six three-pointers in the first half. The Blazers just kept leaving him open because they didn't mind him shooting threes. But whenever MJ was doubted, he responded. The 6-3 basically summed up the best player alive comparison. Drexler airballs, Jordan runs down, gets the ball, and splashes his sixth of the half, looking at press row, shrugging his way down the court. After the game, even Jordan said, I didn't know what was happening. The Bulls went on to win the series 4-2, and this excerpt from Trailblazers and Seahawks owner Paul Allen's memoir, Idea Man, basically sums up Drexler's dilemma guarding Jordan during the 92 finals. And keep in mind, Drexler is a Hall of Famer, champion, an NBA legend, and he still felt this hopeless about going up against Michael Jordan. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What was the greatest moment of MJ's career? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!